everyone and welcome to distance learning at Miss Temple's apartment. Yay! As you can see, it's Fun Shirt Friday. I'm wearing a Bob's Burger shirt where he's dressed like Bob Ross and painting a burger. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Today, I want to show you how to draw a fancy fish. This is a book by Ralph Massiello. Um, I actually met him a few times. He's so great. Um, and he has these books of how to draw. So what I can do is I'm going to pick a fish right now. Um, we're gonna draw. Where are you, fish? A clownfish, just like Nemo. And I want you to create the background however you want. I'm also gonna post this on um, on Dojo. I'll, I'll post a little picture if you want, or if you don't have my Dojo, then I'll post it. I'll also post it on the additional resources in my website. Um, but let's start. Okay. So what you're gonna need first is a pencil and a piece of paper. I would suggest landscape mode this time. So what we're gonna start with is like a staple shape. We're gonna start here and we're gonna start with a little straight line. Oh, you guys can't see that. Just kidding, hold the phone. We're gonna start with a little straight line. That's better. We're gonna curve it around, curve it around. And then we're gonna curve it back up. Notice how I didn't connect them together? Works out. Okay, next step. We're gonna start right here. And we're gonna curve down, 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 stop. Go up and curve around. This is his lip, bottom lip, and his jawline. Okay, next step. We're gonna give him a little gill. We don't want to see too much. It's kind of like a backward C, okay? Next step, we're, well, okay, next step, we're going to give him a head, but it's just going to be a line like that. Next step, you're going to want to make a little bit pointing down line that then curves a little bit, just like that. Next up from this gill, we're gonna connect it. Just like that. Okay, now we're gonna give him some fins. We're gonna give him a top fin that gets smaller as we get down and then curves around. We're gonna give him a fin right here that goes back. We're gonna give him a fin here that looks like, oop, I don't have enough room on my paper, but that's fine. We're gonna give him this fin on the bottom, but upside down. And we're gonna give him another little fin right here. You still with me? We're doing great. Now, he needs his little fins, his arm fins. We're gonna go in the middle. We're gonna make two little lines like this and then make a fin in the middle. Oh my gosh, he's so cute so far. We're also gonna make another fin back here. Remember, this fin is now behind that front fin. Now, we gotta give him a goofy eyeball. So I'm gonna go right here I'm gonna make a circle with a circle inside and then a little tiny circle. So it kind of looks like he's looking at you. Now here's the fun part. We're gonna give him a wiggly line there, a wiggly line there, two wiggly lines here, a wiggly line here, Okay, now this is the funny part. We're gonna make a wiggly line that stops at our fin and then starts at the bottom of our fin. See what I did? 
we're gonna make that a line right here. We're gonna do one more. And then we're gonna make a wiggly line that's kind of curved, okay? So we're gonna do that in front of his fin, in front of his gills. And that, my friends, is how you draw a clownfish. Now, clownfish live in anemones. So those are like, I guess I'll splice these together. So an anemone looks like this. So if you wanna add an anemone, then you can, or you can just make some coral reefs, or you can make another clownfish for him to hang out with. Remember, clownfish are orange. Have fun. And don't forget to send it to me at htemple at schools.nyc.gov. Or you can just don't do it to me. Thanks.